Do you get knee pain when running downhill? If you get knee pain when running downhill, then this video is for you. Hi, I'm Dr. Dave Candy, and in this video, I'm going to tell you what causes knee pain when running downhill and how you can run more comfortably downhill without knee pain. Now, if you find this video helpful, give it a like or thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. So first of all, what causes knee pain when you're running downhill? Now, I'm going to assume for this video that you only have knee pain when you're running downhill and you don't have pain when running uphill. You also don't have knee pain when you're running on flat ground. That if you only have knee pain when you're running downhill, the most likely cause of that is kneecap compression or patellofemoral joint pain, the, the joint between the patella, the kneecap, and the femur, the back of the thigh bone. Now, the other thing that can cause that is pain in the front of the knee and the patellar tendon, where the patellar tendon attaches to the lower leg bone. And when you're running downhill, you get a lot of ground reaction force. You're going faster, typically, than when you're running uphill or on flat. You're also landing a further distance because what's in front of you is lower than where you start. So you have a greater downward distance. Additionally, a lot of times you're exerting your thigh muscles harder because you're trying to slow yourself down so you don't just ramble down the hill and fall flat on your face. Uh, so you've got more thigh compression, which creates more compression behind the kneecap. It also creates more tension on the patellar tendon as you're going downhill. Additionally, you have a higher vertical drop to get to the next step. And so there's more ground reaction force that's going up through your legs. And all of that re results in more force on the knee joint, the patellofemoral joint, and the patellar tendon. And that can result in knee pain when you're running downhill. Now, there are a few things that you can do to relieve knee pain when running downhill. And the first and easiest, but also kind of the most scary, is just to run faster. That during running downhill, you're oftentimes using your thigh muscles to try to slow yourself down. But if you actually run faster and you allow gravity to kind of take you down without working so hard to slow it down, it's probably going to relieve a lot of the knee pain that you have. But again, that can be kind of scary because if you trip, you're going to go down and you're going to hit your face. So you got to be a little bit careful. Watch where your footing is. If you're running in a race, you have to obviously be careful about the other people around you and you know, if there's curbs or you know, other obstacles that you have to watch out for. But running faster when you're going downhill can actually help you relieve knee pain. And the good thing is you don't have to really do that much to change it other than just run faster. Now the other problem that people have when running downhill is because the slope is down that way, your calf has to have a little bit more flexibility to take the next step. You have to be able to flex it more that way to get downhill than when you do when you're running flats or uphill. And so in order to you know, relieve some knee pain when you're running downhill, stretching your calves is also a good thing to, to do. So those are the two biggest tips that I have to help you run downhill more comfortably without knee pain. And if you'd like some more tips on running, we've also got a guide called Seven Deadly Running Training Errors That Many Runners Make and How You Can Avoid Them So You Can Continue Running the Mileage You Want. And for more great training tips for running, I would suggest you download that. Also, if you'd like some more tips on running and just how to relieve pain in general, subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. I hope you found this helpful. Thanks for listening and have a great day.